It's easy to get caught up in life. We become so used to living within the perceived limitations of our current existence that we forget of the infinite creative power within us. In truth, we have limitless potential, but we reduce ourselves to that which we can experience with our five senses. And that can be lonely and isolating. We're just individual bodies going through this meaningless existence. But in actuality, you're not your body. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. And when you connect to source, when you reawaken and you remind yourself of all those things that you already know, all the things that you knew coming into this earth, coming into this lifetime, before you were conditioned to fear and to doubt and to disbelieve in your own potential, when you remember who you truly are, that is when anything's possible. What does it mean when we say that your manifestation is already yours? How can it be that abundance is already yours when the practicality of your day-to-day -day may be lacking? It's because there's oneness in all things. So everything that exists is already yours, in a sense, just as it's already everybody else's. You are everything and you are nothing. Think of it like the ocean, the vast ocean spanning the entire earth. What is an ocean truly, if not millions and billions of tiny little droplets of water? You are the droplet, so insignificant compared to the giant ocean. And yet, if you were to move that drop, and another, and take another, and to continue this individual drop by drop until there was nothing left. What would the ocean be but a dry seabed? You were simultaneously nothing, an insignificant drop of water. And yet you are everything. You are the whole ocean. Because what happens to that drop of water when you return it to the ocean? It becomes one. Who is to say what belongs to what portion of the water as it flows and moves together? Which wave does the shore belong to? It's everyone's. So that abundance is already yours. You just have to go and claim it. And you can't be attached to it. Because though it is yours, it also was never yours belongs to everyone. You are borrowing it. Just as you can take a handful of water from the ocean and let it fall back. Oneness means you are never alone. That you can always connect with some energy. You can always connect with the collective. You can gain the wisdom of the collective if you open yourself to hearing it to receiving it, to feeling it energetically. If you can wrap your mind around being everything and nothing, sometimes it scares people because, well, if you can be everything, then that means the worst person that you completely despise, you're them. Everything that they do that you detest so much, you know, it's often said that you only recognize qualities in people that you yourself have, or have the capacity to have. That also means the reverse is true. That the most amazing, admirable, aspirational figure you can imagine is also a reflection of you. You have the capacity to be as confident, as loving, as caring, as smart, as anything that you admire in anyone. So focus on that and don't let any negativity that might be reflected towards you throw you off your path. Remember what you focus on expands. 
where attention goes, energy flows. So make sure you're placing your attention on who you want to be. Don't ask yourself what could go wrong. Ask yourself what is the best possible outcome that could happen. That's what you want to focus on. Because best possible scenarios happen every day. So don't fear failure. By all means, don't fear success. Trust that you are safe and protected in doing what is destined for you. The universe has your back. Know that you will always have a choice. There will always be another path for you to take, another move that you can make, because you are everything, and everything is you. With infinite possibilities, who will you be today? And how will you embody this oneness?